the open beta is open and many people already got a chance to get like their first impression of the game and now probably the next decision everyone has to go through is will they buy early access yes or no and if they are buying early access will it be worth to go for like a 40 euro version 70 100 or whatever which version is the best for your needs and in this video i will try to break that down quickly First thing I want to take a look at is actually at the stats. The Throne and Liberty open beta was a lot more popular than I expected. I was thinking that we might be getting like 20,000 all time peak, something like this. But we actually got a decent 61k peak in Throne and Liberty open beta. And if we're doing like a comparison, for example, with Lost Ark, Lost Ark only had 88k. So overall, I would say Throne of Liberty is performing way better than expected. You do see a slight drop here um, from day one to the additional ones. I would say this is mainly due to the reason that the servers were like really bad at the start. Because the whole reason of the beta was not uh, getting feedback on like the gameplay and such. The whole reason for the beta was trying to make sure that the crossplay is working. So it, the whole better was basically a server test for PC and console players playing together. And that actually worked in the end. So by yesterday, I did not have any issues anymore playing the game. It ran perfectly smooth. So overall, I would say it's definitely worth go checking out the game on global launch. Now let's take a look. What are the early access packets and what's inside of there? So there's a total of three different packs. The first one is about 40 euros and the only thing it has is a five day early access don't worry it is not a fear of missing out sale they will have servers that are launch on only and then they will have servers that is early access only if you are purchasing this you will play on special early access servers from which servers you cannot transfer later to the launch servers for a protected amount of time. The only reason to buy early access is to play five days early and not having other people watch the game. You can start on the launch server fresh without an early access and have no disadvantage compared to the other people that had an early access. But this is important when you make your decision. The second pack is 70 euros. And what is coming here as an addition is a couple of looks like some um, an outfit that you can wear some morph that you can transfer into like for like running swimming and flying that's almost it there's 500 lucent which is like uh, the real money currency of the auction house but like that is in no comparison to the 30 euro extra that you have to spend here if you're deciding that it's purely for the cosmetic in the 100 euro version it is the same so instead of 500 Lucen, you're getting 1000, but overall it is still only visuals. So it's only if you like to look good, go for the more expensive one. If you only care about early access or value of buying like Lucent, don't buy it. Only buy the 40 euro version. And for the people that like with all those CS items, let's take a look at a little clip on what they actually look like. So we have a white version that looks like a bit of fancy. And then we are having a counterpart grid that looks more like a dark um, knight into the shadow assassin thing style. And they are countering each other. This, for example, is one of the transformations that you can go into the form of a wolf for example for running as a swan for flying or like in an otter for um for swimming i would say that dragon looks fucking cool like out of all of that i think the only reason for me to buy anything else than 40 euro would be that dragon i think the dragon looks really really sick but i will personally most likely buy the 40 euro version because I don't care too much about um, how to look. I rather care about progress. 